All right, let's talk about mandolin fretboard positions. This position terminology can be a bit confusing because it's something that we've stolen from violin pedagogy and it's not always referring to the fret numbers on the fretboard. And the first position is where we usually play on the mandolin where we use open strings and we have our index finger on either the first or the second fret with our pinky going all the way up to the seventh if we use it. So now as we move up the neck to our second position, the idea is that our first finger is now taking the place of our second finger. So we're moving up our index to now be planted on either the third or the fourth fret. Then we're gonna spread out our fingers from there to get the notes that we want. And that pattern just continues, right? For our third position, our index finger is now taking the place of our ring finger on the fifth or the sixth fret. The fourth position is now where your index finger is taking the place of your pinky on the seventh or your eighth fret. You can even go higher than that. We don't have five fingers that we play with on our left hand, but the fifth position is where your index is now on the ninth or the 10th, six is on the 11th or 12th, and basically every two frets is a new position. I think this is a really helpful way of organizing the fretboard, so see if you can visualize these different position numbers in your mind's eye as you go up and down the neck.